Am I the asshole? For telling my stepsister's son the honest truth which is not what she wanted me to tell him? When I was seven I lost my dad. My mom remarried when I was nine. My stepsister was twelve at the time. We had very different experiences with the whole blending of the families. I didn't really want it to happen and wasn't exactly looking to make them my new dad and sister. They never really became that either but I have accepted that they are family. With my stepsister, her mom chose not to be in her life and she always longed for a family, where she had a mom and maybe some siblings. It made us all living together uncomfortable with me and her wanting very different things and her dad and my mom really unhappy with how I felt about us becoming a real family as they would put it. We're all okay now. Not so close. But no hate or animosity there anymore. At least it was hidden well until this. So my stepsister married when she was 20 and had her son then too. She lost her husband two years ago. Her son is now nine. My stepsister has met a man, a widower, and he has two kids under three. They are trying to get to the point where they move in together but her son is not really blending with them, which is how she said it. He's not unkind or rude. But he's not really making an effort is how she views it. And he has said he doesn't want to be part of the new family she wants. They decided to go away for the weekend together and see if that would be a good experience and whether it would help them bond. She said her son ignored when the three-year-old wanted to hold his hand and then he didn't want to sit with her partner who was also looking at the stars on their first night there. He also didn't want to take photos with them all. So she decided I needed to talk to him as someone who also lost my dad. She said the adult me could give him a more mature insight into everything. I told her I would talk to him but I would not read from a script. She told me to just be honest. I did talk to her son. I assured him that how he was feeling was okay and that I had felt the same way. I told him it was okay for his feelings to change and I answered honestly that mine hadn't really, they had just softened so I could like them as people even if they weren't my dad and sister. He liked hearing that and he said he really did believe that would be how he'd feel and I assured him it was okay. He was honest with how he just didn't feel the way his mom wanted to and I related with him with that. My stepsister did not like that and a couple of days later she was calling to curse me out and saying I didn't help her like I had said I would. She told me her son was more sure now that he didn't want to try and be a family with them and she told me I was so selfish to ruin her life the way I had ruined my mom's. I told her my concern was with her son and how he was doing. She told me to go fuck myself. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You did the right thing by validating his feelings honestly. Lying to him wouldn't have served him well. Good job. Not the asshole. I think your second to last sentence nails in the point. You seem to be the only one thinking of the child's feelings here, mostly because you lived that experience and have empathy for it. Nothing about that could be asshole behavior. Not the asshole. Honestly, I don't really think your stepsister is an either, and I really feel for everything she has gone through, but in this situation it sounds like you are the one giving her son what he really needs to hear. Info. You said you didn't want to read from a script. Did you give your sister a real indication what your feelings were? Or was the meat and tone of the conversation a surprise? Not the asshole you did great and your stepsis is trying to force her fantasy on her kid. Not the asshole. Your sister didn't want you to tell him the truth. She wanted you to feed him some made up fairy tale to convince him everything would be okay, when it wouldn't. You can't force a family on someone. Not the asshole. Sounds like your stepsister is regressing back to how she felt when you guys were younger and is taking it out on her kid. It sucks that she's never gotten to her family in the way she wants, but forcing this issue will never work. Not the asshole. Kid deserves what you gave. Not the asshole, your sister lacks awareness though, why would she recruit the enemy to convince her so of a blended family? Be honest, but not your kind of honest. My kind of honest. Not the asshole for being your kind of honest. 
not the asshole. You said the truth and validated his feelings. Shame on your stepsister for not honoring her child and even listening to him. Not the asshole. No one can make someone feel something, it happens or it doesn't. Also a nine-year-old has nothing to gain from two toddlers apart from babysitting responsibilities, I think he suspects that as well. Not the asshole. Your stepsister is out of line for treating you that way. She can't even relate to you and her son anyway. Also, she is selfish since it seems like she's trying to force him to do something she wants. Not the asshole she told you to tell the truth and that's what you did. You helped him understand his feelings and that it's okay to have them. You're the asshole you planned telling him something negative, you should have declined. This was just an asshole move. I hope it's fake. The only place you would be validated is here. Not the asshole. The truth is never wrong. What would lying to him do other than force him into something he doesn't want, this in turn would just breed resentment for everyone involved and could very easily lead to him being violent if pressured. Not the asshole she isn't hearing you, much like your mother refused to hear you. She asked for you to be honest, and you were. She didn't really want honesty, she shouldn't have asked for honest. Not the asshole. I unfortunately think she's projecting her relationship with you on your son, and was under the erroneous impression that now that you are grown, you grew to regret your younger self's decisions, when that's clearly not what happened. Not the asshole. She's making the same mistake that your mom and stepdad made. The mistake of not understanding that you can't force a family. And the more you try to force it, the less likely it is to happen. Not the asshole it must have been so refreshing for him to hear that his feelings are valid and completely normal. Not the asshole. Given her communication style, it's likely that your stepsis will be divorced within a few years and your stepneef won't have anything to worry about. Not the asshole you can't force a family. By attempting to force it, it will more likely cause an even larger divide because he will feel unheard. Seriously, how can she expect a 9 yo to bond with a 3 yo? You did right by letting him know how he feels is okay. You're the asshole. Nata. The stepsister is choosing a man over her own child. She is a huge R and her son deserves better. Not the asshole. She told me to just be honest. Your title is misleading. She told you to be honest. You were. That's all on her that she's apparently never understood your perspective. This story's just tell me to never date a guy with kids I don't need this problems where someone dislike me. But that's why men don't want women with kids and women lie about having kids. Not the asshole the aim was to help her son, not her, and you did that. I think that was a very nice thing of you to do let him know his feelings are normal. Amazing how selfish people are. Well done for helping the kid. Maybe he should stay with you, playful face.